looking at leak code number 144. It's called binary tree pre-order traversal. This is uh, a pretty much a warm-up question. It's a good pattern to be aware of. And you know, I'll show you a method how we can just solve this very, very quickly and easily. There's two ways we can do it. We can do it recursively, and it is non-trivial when you do this recursively. Um, but in this question, they want us to, to do this iteratively. Okay, and it's also not very difficult looking at this iteratively as well. Um, okay, so let's take a look at the conceptual here. We have a tree here, a binary tree, and we want to get our pre-order into the result here. Okay, so first let's just define what pre-order is. How do we figure out what is the pre-order? So the way you want to look at it is you want to you want to move down this tree in this direction. Okay. You want to snake down the tree in that direction. And the way you want to think about it is, is the first node you hit, so like the first node you come in contact with as that line moves through, is going to be your pre-order uh, order, right? So you're going to come here, you're going to, you're going to uh, touch the 5, the 3, the 1, the 2, and the 4, and then you'll be back at 5. And so your pre-order uh, order should be 5, 3, 1, 2, and 4. Okay? So that's that's how we want to order this. We want to traverse the tree and capture the nodes in that order. So the way we want to do this, if we're not going to use recursion, is we want to use a stack. Okay? And we want to start by just going ahead, go, uh, let me remove this here. We want to start by go going and putting the root into the stack. Now what we want to do is we want to pop off whatever's in the stack. So we're going to pop off this 5, and we're going to place it into the result. At the same time, we're going to check to see if there's anything on the right of it or anything on the left of it. Okay. If we have a node on the right, then we want to push that into the stack. So we'll go ahead and take this 4 and push it into the stack. We want to check uh, on this 5 if there's anything to the left of it. There is. There's this 3. We want to push that onto the stack. Okay, and now we want to go back to our iteration. While there's something still in the stack, we want to pop off this 3. Okay, it'll go into our result. And then we want to check, is there anything to the right of it and the left of it? There is. We have a 2 on the right, and we have a 1 on the left. So we're going to go ahead and push this 2 into the stack, and then we're going to go ahead and push this 1 into the stack. We'll go into the next iteration. We'll pop off this one and we'll check, is there anything to the right or left? There's not. This will already go into the stack. Two, there's nothing to the right or left. So we go ahead and uh, push that into the result. And then same thing with four. We check, is there anything to the right or left? There's not. We also um, push that into our result. And now we have our correct order for our pre-order traversal using a stack. If we want to do this recursively, I'll quickly go over that as well. So let's just kind of show how we would do this recursively. Recursively, we just want to check if the root is null, then we just return null. Actually, let's go ahead and do what we just did, and then at the end, I'll, I'll go over the recursive solution. So what we want to do here is, is basically to code this out. We want to create a stack. And in JavaScript, you can just use an array and then just set uh, the initial value to the root. And then we want to have a result and set that to an empty array. And now all we want to do is while there's something in the stack, OK, we want to pull out the node. So we want to pop it off. And then we want to push this value into our result. So we can do result.push node.val. And now we just want to check, is there anything to the right? If there is, we push that onto the stack. And if there's anything on the left, we push that on the stack. So we can say if node.right, then stack.push node.right. OK, if node.left. And we just do a stack.push node.left. OK, and then all we want to do is just go ahead and return our result. Just make sure this runs. Uh, 
let's see here, node dot val of null if node dot stack dot length result root. Oh, we just want to make sure we have a base case where uh, if the root is null, then we go ahead and return an empty array. Okay, yeah, and we're good. Okay, so that's another base case or a edge case that you just always want to be aware of. If they give you an empty root, then you'll have a problem with all of this. So just something else to be uh, aware of. Now, if you want to do this recursively, it's even easier. Um, so what you want to do is same thing. If root is null, we just return null. And then what we want to do is um, we want to create a helper function. So we can just say const in for pre-order. And then here, what we'll do is we'll create a global result. Okay, and then this will take in a node. And then we just check if the node is null, then we return null. And then this is a, a great little pattern here because you can do this for in order, pre order, or post order. It's just really easy to remember. With pre order, you want to push into the result uh, initially. So you want to do result.push node.val. And then you want to do your recursive. Uh, recursive call. So if node.left, then you want to recursively call preorder with the left node. Okay, and then you want to do, if there's a node.right, you want to do preorder with the right node. And then you want to call preorder with our root and then return our result. Now, if you want to do in order, all you have to do is um, just think of it this way. In is initial, it's the or pre order is pre, you want to have it before you do your, rever um, your uh, re uh, recursive calls. If you want to do in order, it's going to be sandwiched in between these two. Okay, and if you want to do post order, you just want to do it after your two recursive calls. Okay, so that's just a great easy way to just kind of remember the difference between pre, pre, in, and post. Okay, let's run this, make sure this works. Uh, let's see, null value again. We have to return an empty array, not null. Yeah, and we're good. Okay, what about time and space complexity? Um, well, because we have to return a result and we're also creating a stack, um, our space complexity is going to be linear. So we're gonna have O of N space. And then time complexity is also linear because we're gonna have to go through every single node, right? So whatever the size of the input is, the time is going to be relative to that. Okay, so that is leap code number 144, binary tree pre-order traversal. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you on the next one.